The design you see here specifies a particular type of ash tree, a particular variety um, in the front grass area as a feature. And the, the, the symbol is here and the designer has taken one of our original symbols, view plant symbol 14, and assigned Fraxinus raywood, the claret ash, to that symbol. But you, you might want the symbol to more accurately reflect the appearance of a claret hash and the way to do that is to select a symbol right click and pick edit the block and what i've done here is just simply draw up uh, a little group of more typical claret ash symbols or leaves rather and what we'll do now is remove all the existing ones which come from the original GK plus symbol and that's relatively easy to do and just watch out that we don't remove inadvertently remove some of these and we can delete those so now it's a matter of another little group here to deal with whoops I need to put a crossing window through that group and then a crossing window here sorry an inclusive window and now I think what we can do is just take a group like so we could copy them across to the other side and just rotate them as though we were mirroring them so we will rotate pick a point here and spin those around roughly in line with what we're interested in doing and then come here so we've almost achieved our aim although i think this is a little that area through there doesn't quite look right so i was hoping in fact to short circuit that by copying the group i think i need to be a little more careful and just perhaps take individual uh, groups of leaves and put them in a more appropriate position so I'll do that and just work on the symbol and get back to you. Well, after two or three minutes work, I've updated the symbol. What we're trying to do is just give a flavour of this particular Fraxinus. Um, it's important, I think, not to go overboard with the amount of detail that you put in. But that's clearly now a different symbol. What I think is a good idea at this point, it's associated via the plant database that's associated with this drawing with you plant symbol 14 I'd be inclined to perhaps before we do that I'd be inclined to turn on the construction layer just making sure that what we do now is pick the symbol that gets the construction layer I'll copy that to the clipboard I'll start a brand new drawing without using any sort of template and I'll paste that from the clipboard into this new version new drawing in fact and then maybe we'll darken up the regen so we're in a brand new drawing now i'll explode that we'll go to the blocks and just kill the old u plant symbol delete it and we are done I'd probably be inclined to darken that up just a little to make it slightly different from the original. So let's pick something like that. And we'll OK that, unselect all, and then we'll go to view background color white. So there's our symbol. This one looks to have a point put in the center of it there um, i'd be inclined to take my point style and just change that to a plus sign through the center point i think that looks a little tidier now i can turn off the plant construction layer sorry i'll put that back on because there's one last important step if we want this to work really well the idea here is to make this symbol available in other drawings so we will 
having to make sure that everything is on we're going to select the symbol and move the center point to 0 comma 0 and you'll notice a small shift on our zoom extents and I can save that particular drawing I can put it in a folder let's this is let's go into blocks and plants and named ones and this now becomes Fraxinus Ray Wood EI and we'll save it. I'll probably now turn off the construction layer. So we now have a symbol stored away in its own folder um, where we can use it at our leisure. Let's return to the original drawing and there we are. So we now have this symbol U plant symbol 14 so let's just try now and see if we can insert our new one by adding from another file and we're after Fraxinus and here it is here's our new symbol that we've just made and, and poked it away of it says it's already in use we'll say OK and I'll cancel from there close that and I'll go to this one here I've neglected to save and close it and now we can try again let's browse and go to our folder where all the named ones are stored and hopefully we can just bring this one into model space insert it into the drawing and we'll OK it and so in it comes and you'll notice if we use the distance there can you see we've got a canopy diameter of 4.2 meters or thereabouts which is perhaps reasonable at a 10 5 to 10 year point for this quite slow growing but majestic tree let's take off our plant construction layer so there's our new symbol it's not associated of course with Fraxinus as this symbol is so what we need to do is having selected that one we need to remove the data from the plant we say yes and it's been now being removed we can kill that one and move this one which now has its own name Fraxinus Ray Woody Eye and we'll move it back into position but we do need to pick it and associate it again set the data to the plant we can Fraxinus and there it is so it's it's now associated and so when we click on it we get in the properties area the block name so that's a little long-winded but shows you how you can make blocks on the fly that reflect the particular species that you are using and then just add that to your set of named symbols or well, while we're at it let's open up the new symbol that we've made and we'll make it a generic ash and so to do that I'll just select everything there hold the shift key down and take the trunk out of it and a gener generic ash is likely to have more yellowy leaves so we'll just pick some sort of maybe a color like that and we'll OK it and unselect all and then save so we now have in our name folder another symbol called generic ash which should work reasonably well for us